Do you love a good gate fold card, but hate that it pops open? Stick with me because I'm going to show you a winning solution. Let's get crafting. Hey y'all, thanks for being here. The basic gate fold card is a super simple card to master, but it has an inherent problem. It likes to pop open. Quite honestly, it makes me crazy. So we're going to find a solution today. I'm starting with a piece of black cardstock that I have cut in half. Now this was a standard eight and a half by 11 and I have cut it in half to be five and a half by eight and a half. Using my scoreboard, I am going to score a line at two and one eighth inch. And then I'm going to flip the card around and do the exact same thing. Two and an eighth inches. I'm going to get a good crease now by using a bone folder on both sides. Fold the gate towards the center of your card. As a paper crafter, we know not everything works out fine the first time, but keep going because if those two don't line up in the center, just kind of give it a little tug and then press down really firm on your bone folder to get a good crease. That's it. That's all there is to a gate fold. Now let's decorate it. Let's do a quick review of the ruler. The long lines are quarters, so one quarter, one half, three quarters, and then the inch. Between the quarter marks are the eighth marks. The small line between the quarters are the eighth marks. We have one eighth, three eighths, five eighths, and seven eighths. Each of our flaps measure five and a half inches by two and one eighth inches. So we're going to cut down our paper one eighth smaller on each side. Now, if that's too much, just make it smaller. No big deal. I have got a great little cheat. If you have problems remembering what the ruler markings are, Look at your scoreboard. I have a We Are Memory Keepers scoreboard and it shows all of the markings. So you may have noticed my giraffe ears today and that is my tribute to Disney's Animal Kingdom, which yesterday was its 25th anniversary. I just love Animal Kingdom. It is very near and dear to my heart because it reminds me of my grandmother. So I wanted to bring a little of that to my crafting today. So you'll notice that I did use animal print, although not traditional, for my card. Uh, so that's my, my inspiration and that's what my goal is all about, is to show you how to be inspired by the things that you love. And for me, it's usually all things Disney. Now, hang with me to the very end because I have a surprise for you. Alrighty, I'm using my very favorite Barely Art Precision Craft Glue to adhere my panels to my card base. A quick check to make sure everything lines up and we're off to stamp the center. I'm using scrapbook.com's Card Maker Essential Stamp Set. This has a beautiful happy birthday sentiment and I am going to be using my Stamparetta's stamp platform. You can use any platform you have. Um, the Stamparetta's is no longer available. It was discontinued recently and sold out very quickly. I'm using a glue eraser to make sure I don't have any debris on my stamp before I stamp. Um, if you are new to stamping and you're having problems getting a really good stamp, I'll link up top my seven tips for successful stamping video that I invite you to check out. I'm using VersaFine Onyx Black Ink, which is a pigment ink, and it is my absolute favorite when I'm stamping sentiments. Now to stretch my dies. I am using Spellbinder's uh, Special Pet Delivery, which was sold as a Christmas die cutting set. But leave off the Santa hat and you have a year round die cutting set. I made this cute little cat. It also makes a dog. And I did mount it on the oval frame that it comes with. 
Now I'm just going to use my tape runner on the left side because I'm only going to adhere it to the left side of my card. I need it to be able to open. My latch is simply another die cut. Here I did use my Cricut. I cut out a circle as well as the little fish skeleton. I didn't have anything in my regular dies to uh, match up with my kitty. And then I'm going to put foam tape on the right side of that die cut. Um, I need the left side of the die cut to be free of any adhesive so the cat will fit under it. Match up the second die cut so that it overlaps your first die cut but doesn't obstruct the image. We finish off the inside of our card with our now dry uh, happy birthday sentiment and we lock the latch just by folding the cat underneath the fish. And there we have it, a locking gatefold card. If you find this video helpful or enjoyable in any way, please give me some pixie dust by giving me a thumbs up, subscribing, and ringing that notification bell. This one's a little different. I used ephemera in this one. So my oval and my flower are both ephemera and I also gave my pattern paper. Um, I cut that down one eighth further and I gave it a border. And last, I made two different Mickey heads using punches and I did double up on the cardstock to make them a little thicker. Alrighty, there we have it. An easy solution that any level of card maker can be successful at to solve the problem of a gate folding card that won't close. Number one, you learned how to make a gate fold card. And number two, you figured out how to, make, how to keep it latched. Lots of options here, punches, ephemera, die cuts. The world is at your fingertips here. So I'd love for you to go wild with the technique. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart because I am overjoyed. We are sitting at just below 700 subscribers in this group. And um, I, I just, I cannot thank you enough. My goal is to hit 1000 subscribers by June. And with y'all's help, I know that's possible. That being said, last week a subscriber wrote in to me and said she was sad that I didn't have a Facebook group where she could go and post videos or pictures of the cards that she created. And I wanna thank Jennifer F because you totally spurred me into action and that Facebook group is ready to go. So I'd love to have you guys hit the like button, subscribe, and then head on over to Facebook and join Village Card and Crafts over there because I would love for you to post the cards that you created using some of my techniques. That way we share some more love with others out there as well. Uh, until next week, thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you then.